Hey music lovers, I'm Tim Nichols with the Christian Rock and Metal Collective and today we're introducing a brand new CD. Actually this thing comes out tomorrow on Friday, June the 28th. This video is posting on June the 27th in 2024. So if you watch this a little later, it'll already be out. But if you watch it tonight, it is ready tomorrow. There will be a watch party on Harpazzo's Facebook page. Just go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you to the place to where we can watch the whole album together and experience it together. But this is a very interesting experience. This is a progressive metal album and it has some really awesome artwork. That kind of gives me like Archangel vibes. Harpazzo actually means to be caught up or to be caught away. And it seems to be a nod to the rapture of the church. So this is an apocalyptic type or an end times or an eschatological type of CD. It's dealing with the book of Revelation, it's dealing with the book of Daniel and some of the prophecies in there, and it's a very interesting way to handle it through music, a rock opera, or we could call it a metal opera. What this is, this is called a concept album. And here's what a concept album is. Sometimes they will use guest vocalists, sometimes they'll use guest musicians. It's an album that tells an entire story. So each song is part of a story. So while you can listen to the songs on their own, you have to be careful interpreting those songs outside of the whole arc of the story. For example, track number three on here, I Am God, is actually from the perspective of Jude Solomon, who is ultimately revealed to be the Antichrist and it's singing the song from his perspective. So he's proclaiming to be God. When you look through this book, this becomes really important when you're listening to the CD. First of all, it gives you the story of what's going on. I'll give you a little information on that in a minute. And then it gives you the lyric sheet, and the lyric sheet tells you which character is singing. So each song features more than one vocalist. The first song, i is Jude Solomon and Michael. Now, who Jude Solomon is, is Jude Solomon is a character that owns a business called i -Corps. And this i business is known for making high-end quality prosthetics. And what he is doing is he's making this serum that humans can drink that basically makes them live forever and become a product of this dark Antichrist kingdom. And Jude Solomon being ultimately the Antichrist. This is set in 2142, so this is very futuristic. And I would say while this is an interpretation of what could go on in Revelation and in Daniel and what those prophecies mean, that's all it is, it's an artist interpretation. This is an interesting way to deal with end time topics. And I don't wanna spoil the story for you, but I will say this. Jude Solomon ends up winning over Michael and he ends up looking for someone to rule with him. And he calls on someone named Rolina who is resistant. She ends up joining forces with him and there is a bloodbath as a result because the evil kingdom is now fully revealed. They have their antichrist and they have their false prophets and they are ready to just move forward with their destructive plan. So I won't spoil the ending, but there is a story of redemption in here. And a lot of the interpretations are left to the individual. The artist leaves them open-ended. When does this rapture occur? Are you able to be saved after receiving the mark of the beast? And topics like that are left open to interpretation. And I think that's pretty cool. But this is an amazing album. The musicianship on it is incredible. Everything from the lead guitars to the vocals. And the two main brains behind the project are Mark Santani and Gary. I don't know how to say his last name. I'm going to say like Warhamp. But amazing stuff. These two guys really put a lot of effort into this record. But let me tell you some of the voices that are involved in this. We have Christian Lelligreen. He's from Narnia. Les Carlson from Bloodgood, Leland Perley, DC Cooper, Ray Para, Michael Drive, and so many others that just really make this a vocal masterpiece. This is an incredible story. Again, I want to emphasize something. When you listen to this thing, make sure that you keep up with the lyric sheet because that tells you what character is singing to let you, because if you only listen to it, it can be a little confusing. So the first time you listen through, I highly recommend you listen through reading the lyric sheet because that's really going to help you know exactly what's going on in the story. Another thing is when you listen to a single song, for example, I Am God has already been released on YouTube, that can be very confusing to someone who's thinking that this is talking about a Christian God. Because here are some of the lyrics. You exist because I allow it. You will end when I demand. Feel my rage burn. Feel the clock turn. Rome is rising. Heaven's falling on my wings. I'm the vanguard of your implosion, corrupting your minds within. I am the forger of termination, infecting your soul with sin. I am God. Now, obviously, we're not talking about the God of the Bible here. We're talking about a bad dude 
and the Antichrist. You don't know that if you're only listening to the song by itself. You only know that if you listen to the whole story. So check this out. Come to the listening party tomorrow. Check out Harpazo's Facebook because they've got all the information that you need on there. And go ahead and pre-order this album because it is fantastic progressive metal. It has melodic, it has speed, it has all the things you need in that rock opera style with that concept album. This is pretty great. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on.